What's going on guys? I am Pryoxis and I am back with another EA Sports UFC 4 tips, tricks, and tutorials video. And in this video, guys, it's probably going to be something that's going to help a lot of people out. And this is for advanced players, beginners, or people in the middle, I promise. Watch the whole video. Do not skip. I promise. I know a lot of people like to skip through the videos, but I'm telling you, you want to learn, this is the video that you need to be watching, all right? So let's get started. What you want to do first is go into learn and copy the exact settings that I do, right? So go into practice mode. Once you go here, you'll see that uh, to open settings, you'll have to click on the left stick. That's for Xbox or PlayStation. Now, once you click down on it, it'll open up these settings and copy my exact settings. Um, your game's probably going to start on enter. You need to scroll over, put it on strike recording, scroll down, turn on health, turn on stamina, turn on damage indicators. And then uh, you can go ahead and click B or circle on PlayStation, back out, and then start practice. So we're just going to choose uh, RDA, and we're going to beat up on Leon Edwards. So I'm going to be teaching you guys how to use strike recording to deal with people that, you know, that play that play cheesy or, you know, consistently spam something that you don't know how to deal with it. Now, once you go here, guys, you'll see that you have these four options on your screen. Now, one says playback, one says recording off, one says reset, one says recording on. Now, once you scroll over and you click the left stick, I mean the, the D-pad, and you go to uh, recording on, you'll notice that you will now be controlling your opponent. Now, you're moving around and you don't see anything happening. But the second you do a head movement, a strike, or a lunge, or anything, you notice that that bar starts to fill up. Now, as that bar fills up, it is basically recording the exact things that you're doing and uh, we'll replay them once you go to playback, right? See that there? I want the playback, it's recording it. Now, if you want to stop it, you want to go to recording off. The second you go back to playback, it'll turn it back on. If you want to record something else, you know, you can go back to record it and throw a different combination or a different strike. Now, I'm going to go and get into a few of uh, things that people hate and people highly dislike being thrown against them. And the first one is going to be the jab cross, which is probably the most infamous one. It's a jab cross. And we're going to figure out what are the optimal things to do against the jab cross. What are the highest damage, you know, counters and the most optimal counters, you know, because there's a lot of counters to strikes. But sometimes this counter is going to be better than that one. So let's get started. Now, Leon Edwards is going to come forward. You see that there. I recorded him coming forward with a jab and a cross. So in order to dodge a jab or a cross, you will need to move your head to the side. If you move your head backwards and hit you with a jab or a cross, it does do access damage. And then ducking down, it still can track you. Now, once he throws the one and the two, you see that there, I get out the way. If you wanted to land a counter, boom. Keep in mind, you cannot throw a counter and be blocking at the same time. The only strike you can throw while blocking is going to be an elbow because you're already holding right trigger. But in this situation, the most optimal thing to do is slip and throw across, right? Now, how, let's see how much damage does the cross do? Boom. You see that there, left side of the screen, strike damage. I did 34.2, 34 and uh, you see the damage percent. I did 143%. Now, let's figure out why did we do so much damage? Well, if you look down, it says vulnerability damage 138.5%. That's why, and then if you scroll down a little bit more, you see opponent's stamina damage. Now, he was vulnerable because he came forward with a strike, and I dodged it, and I hit him with a counter. And then his stamina was missing a little bit because I evaded his strike. And then I hit him with my counter, right? So, let's say you wanted to do a little bit more. You want to throw a cross, and then you throw the most optical thing, optimal. I keep saying optical. It's optimal. It's, uh, it's going to be either a lead hook or a lead uppercut right there you see that there I did uh 28.4 now that one didn't count as a counter but I believe the most optimal thing to do is going to be cross followed by a lead hook but you see there I'm getting a hit reaction so I'm not even I'm not even able to land anything afterwards see he's going he's flying way back there but again, the most optimal thing to do, which could do, that's going to give you the highest success rate, is going to be, it's going to be that slip cross. For the jab crosses, right? So guys, keep that in mind. Someone jab cross, jab cross, jab cross. You just slip and then hit him with a cross. But be wary, so you don't be wary. Understand that your opponent can mix it up and throw a jab, uh, jab rear hook or jab lee hook and can catch you while you're slipping. Now, 
The next combinations that people seem to have a problem with, and I don't understand why, is people hook spamming. Now, this is going to be the easiest, and once I show you this, you're going to be like, wow, I really let people hook spam me. So, look at, check this out. A lot of guys, if they hook spam you, chances are they're moving forward with the hook. So, let's just take Leon Edwards and throw three hooks, right? Now, if you want to dodge hooks, which are round strikes, you want to duck under them, or you want to pull away from them. Now, the most optimal thing to do is pull away from them if you want to counter. Now, there's a couple counters that you can do. You can throw a rear hook, rear cross, um, rear uppercut, or even the rear elbow. Now, the strike that's going to give you the most damage is going to be the rear elbow. It is insane how much damage it does if you pull back on them. Now, let's say your fighter does not have the, the rear elbow. Well, you can throw the rear uppercut as well. Let's try to, th oh, mess it up. I messed it up again. Let's try one more time. See, that's why I say optimal because the rear uppercut is kind of weird. Sometimes it won't work. It legit won't work. It worked there. You see there? I did 51.8 damage, right? Now let's see how much the rear hook does. Boom. That did 70 damage. So that right there tells us that the hook is going to be more optimal than throwing the uh, uppercut. Now. I'm gonna restart practice because I'm probably going if I if I did this I probably would knock him out. I'm gonna restart it real quick and I'm gonna have him throw the same combination, just basically the uh, hooks, right? So he throws the hooks. Now watch when I throw this elbow. 63 damage, insane. I did 202 percent. Well, why did you do 202 percent? Because the vulnerability you see there, I did 179 percent, and then add that with the uh, with the opponent's stamina damage, 112%. Crazy damage. Look at that, 66 damage, that's a rock. This is basically the beginning of the fight and I landed that counter and it did a rock. Now, this is something I'm gonna show you guys. If you can successfully pull this off, you'll look nasty and insane doing it. So, what it is, you throw a rear elbow followed by a lead uppercut. The most powerful two strikes you can throw together in this situation. Look at that. Now remember, the other strike did 60. Well, that one did 39. And that was, I knocked him down. I mean, I knocked him down with the two punches. The elbow, technically an elbow and then a, a lead uppercut. Look at that. Boom, 40 damage. That lead uppercut did 40 damage. Now, if he, look at this. See that there? I'm going to show you guys real quick because it can happen. I messed it up. I messed it up. I can literally get a flash KO. You can literally get a flash KO. Okay, get, get him, let him stand back up. Oh man, I got the flash KO on the elbow. <laughs> but what I, what I was trying to show you guys is basically, um, if you get a hit reaction on that elbow and you rock him, that lead uppercut will basically automatically land and it'll flash him. Now let's say the, lead elbow, the rear elbow you throw lands on him you can even knock him completely out. And uh, I'm going to show you guys. That way you don't feel like I'm, I'm capping or I'm lying to you guys. See that there? That's, that's, that's the beginning of the fight, basically. And I knocked him down already with that combination. Right? Now, I want to I wanna show you guys real quick. Here it goes. Oh, I almost got it. That will land as he's falling down. Right there, right there. You see that? Now I did why his health was lower because it's going, it's going to. Uh, you're not going to be able to get that unless the health is lower. But you can literally flash KO somebody with that combination there, right? Now let's get into another combination that people have seem to have a problem with, and it's going to be the jab overhand. Jab overhand, very very strong OP combination. I can agree. Now let's figure out what is optimal here in order to defeat that combination. Right now, we know that with the overhand, you cannot sway into the opposite direction of the overhand. See that there? I can't sway there, it lands on me, right? But I can sway in the same direction of it and I will get out of the way. So, what combination or what strike can I throw once I, um, I make him miss that combination? I mean, that punch. Well, let's try the let's try the uh, the slip cross that did 29 out of 23. So let's try the uppercut. 
boom that did 34.4 and uh not in actually I, it didn't catch any vulnerability it's not it's not even giving me any vulnerability see that that's what i'm saying optimals right so that right there me slipping and landing an uppercut when it looks like i should be getting you know vulnerability i'm not getting any vulnerability for that so let's try to throw a slip hook boom i get no vulnerability there as well now what i did get more damage from is the opponent's stamina damage now i think this is a bug in the game because he is 100 percent vulnerable but let's try to throw <laughs> spinning elbow hey it landed it landed i don't think i think he'd be able to block that before though but again it's weird I'm not getting any, uh, you see that there? I'm not getting any extra vulner vulnerability damage, but I am getting opponent's stamina damage because he's throwing a big strike and he's whiffing. So, right, the uppercut, the cross, the lead hook, nothing of that. I'm getting no extra vulnerability on any strike. So, keep that in mind, guys, when your opponent's throwing an overhand, that you will not get any extra damage. So, let's restart practice, and uh, the last thing that I'm going to go over is going to be the uh jab rear head kick now this right here i want you guys to pay very close attention to watch this so you guys see that uh leon edwards rear uh rear leg is basically rda's lead lead hand right so i'm gonna throw a jab rear head kick with leon now watch this you duck it the best thing you can do to a head kick is duck it. It leaves them extremely vulnerable, and I'm going to show you guys what you need to be throwing. Watch this. Oh, he threw it to the body. Boom. See that there? I, I ducked it, and I threw this lead hook that was on the same side of, of uh, that head kick. Now, I'm going to show you what happens if you throw the opposite hand. See that there? Not it, it, It's a rear hook, which should do more damage, but it gives you more vulnerability when you throw it the, the strike that's on the same side so i'll show you guys one more time boom did 82 damage insane rocked them right did 332 percent damage crazy damage now let's say uh leon edwards switches stance right and i'm going to show you guys look at that now he's on the rear hand side right boom did 106 damage guys now let's have him throw the same head kick but now i'm gonna throw this lead uh lead hook mess it up there see there now that only did 46 damage which wasn't a lot see 33 damage but watch this boom 120 damage sleep just like that i'm telling you guys man i hope i really hope you guys actually watch this video and and learn this isn't more so for me to just teach you how to do this you know this is more so for me to show you what you need to be doing if you're having a problem against somebody like that's why you need to make reads against your opponent that way you can go back into practice mode and pick up on uh, you know how to beat those maneuvers how to beat those certain things and that's it guys i hope you guys did enjoy um leave a like if you uh, made it this far or if you actually enjoyed the video Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Turn on post notifications as well, guys, man. Support your boy. All right, 18K before 2021, and I'm out, man. Peace.